My name is Howard Clark. Um, I work for ICL. Um, I'm located in the UK uh, and I'm located on the Bowlby Mine site where um, ICL uh, mines this unique product called polysulfate. And we're very proud uh, to be mining this product and offering this product to the European market. Polysulfate is a, a unique mineral. It contains um, four of the seven macronutrients that a crop needs. Those are potassium, magnesium, calcium, all in the sulfates form and all in a low chloride form. These four macronutrients contribute to improving crop yields across many Northern European crops. Those crops include wheat, barley, oilseed rape, potato, and many legumes. The fact that potassium is present in the low chloride form adds great value to the product because most farmers are looking for low chloride forms of potassium, which are affordable. One of the unique aspects of polysulfate is its release curve of its nutrients. Unlike other fertilizers, polysulfate will release its nutrients over 50 days. This means not just the sulfur is released over 50 days, but as the particle breaks down, the potassium, calcium, magnesium, and sulfur are all released together. So all of the inputs that a farmer uses within, within polysulfate are released over a prolonged period of time, depending upon the amount of moisture in the soil. Farmers uh, are not truly rewarded for reducing their carbon footprint. This will come in the future as scope three of the carbon initiative by the EU comes into phase. When scope three arrives, farmers will be able to hopefully take advantage of this lower carbon product in a much greater way than they are today. When farmers are putting polysulfate on, they're putting on the lowest carbon footprint per unit of nutrient that there is in the world today. So they should feel very proud of that. And they should feel proud that they're helping the environment without any reward from, from governments or the CAP, etc. cetera. Um, this is for them to decide for themselves. However, we at ICL are very proud to be bringing to the market this unique mineral with the lowest carbon footprint. And we hope that farmers will adopt more of this product in their cropping systems. We mine polysulfate uh, at a mine site called Bowlby. Uh, where is Bowlby? Bowlby is in the UK. It's in the northeast of the UK and it's in a place called North Yorkshire. We mine the material 1,300 meters underground. What we've done at Bowlby is we've converted an old potash mine into a polysulfate mine. So we're mining a new mineral, polysulfate, and it, so we've reduced the carbon footprint by adopting a circular economy approach to an old mine in that we've got all of the infrastructure, we have the mine shafts, we have the people, we have the equipment from our, when we were mining potash and we've adapted all of that in order for us to take a new mineral called polyhalite which we market as polysulfate. We then take the mineral by rail to a port in Middlesbrough and we ship around the world from Middlesbrough on seagoing vessels.